What is going on gang? Adam here at FM Immortal where we bring you tips and takes on all things Football Manager and today we're going to be talking to you about how you can get your side steaming ahead of the competition by adopting a very simple striker strategy in January. Um, I want to begin though by admitting that a few months ago when I created this video where I ranked core positions in FM23 by importance, I feel I have got it wrong. Um, having now completed a further six seasons in my Valencia save uh, that you can see more videos of over on our channel, I can freely admit that strikers and not centre-backs are the most important acquisition when you want to transform your squad into that 60% plus win ratio team. Um, I'd love to know if you guys agree with this, so do let me know down in the comments, but for me it is so evident when you have a capable team but no firepower up top. Um, and as much as I do believe centre-backs are still the second most vital position, I've got to acknowledge that strikers are actually number one on this game. But today though, I'm going to talk to you about a formula that most of your saves can take full advantage of. That will see you win far more games in the second half of the season and certainly land you more goals. So let's get into what I mean by this goal scoring formula then. And we're going to start by heading to the scouting page and looking at players in range. Um, so that we can maximise the scope and hopefully I can get this formula ready for you. Um, so what we're going to do is go to new search first um, and obviously select striker because uh, that's what we're here to talk about um, and nothing else of the quick uh, quick filters there but then we head over to advanced and in the any condition we're going to be looking at transfer status. Uh, now this is for me the, uh, the crux of it all so um, there are a few other things that we're going to add into this formula but the first thing is we are looking for someone that is transfer listed by request so a want away striker uh, so let's have a look what comes back um, now I should say at this point what we'd normally be doing is uh, is playing with these filters and this transfer uh, transfer search in January you are going to get more in your scope in January because players at that point are more want away than they would be in the summer and um, because typically after two or three months they have had a broken promise with their manager so at the start of the season in uh, August um, after two three maybe four months they may have a playing time promise which is probably the most common that has been broken and that they want a uh, transfer away because of that. There are some circumstances where people at the end of the season are listed for uh, the reasons that the club wants to get rid of them and that's what I'm seeing more of here on my page because I'm in May uh, we've just concluded our sixth season with Valencia but in January it's a different kettle of fish. You have uh, strikers that are listed because of their want away not because the club wants rid of them um, and that for me is the first crucial component of this formula um, so let's have a look what we've got then so um, there's quite a few that are, oh this is a request um, transfer by request so Ivan Cordona is one um, so I'm just going to have a look into him he doesn't look like he's glowingly good uh, and he's 30 years old and um, so I don't think you'd get too much uh, goodness out of this guy um, but when we have someone that's listed by request let's have a look at Giovanni Bolivar here um, he looks a little better I think than what we've just seen in um, Cardona um, oh no Cardona does edge it um, but um, Bolivar's got it on the on the attacking but uh, yeah essentially then you're looking for your core attributes for a striker. So um, let's have a look. Uh, there we go. So Martin Satriano at the top. Um, he looks like a fiery prospect. £46 million as the transfer value. Three and a half stars. He's already kind of in his peak by the looks of things. He's not going to get much better. But statistically, he looks fantastic. And the things that you are looking for at this stage, um, I'm only going to narrow it down to three. You want finishing high, composure high and determination high. And this guy's got it in spades, really. That composure is pretty good um, for a striker, uh, 14. Determination and finishing of 16 apiece. And a lot of other good merits in the physical, mental and technical ability, actually. Um, technical is probably his weakest, but yeah, he looks a really good prospect. Now, those three are the core components for this formula. So um, if you can find someone with good stats in those places, I think this uh, formula will pay dividends for you. Um, and now the next part of this recipe. So we, we are going to, uh, if we were in January, we would go in to make an offer, um, but we're not looking for a transfer here. And, and that is crucial. What we're actually looking for is a loan offer with an option to buy um, at the end. 
So uh, in the loan clauses, you can have an optional future fee. And this is the best part of this. You do not have to care about any of these optional future fees. And sometimes you'll have um, hit at you when it's a decent striker like Satriano. You might have something ridiculous like a 250K playing and unused monthly fee, 100% of the wages. Um, and I implore you do not get put off by those scary numbers. If your club can afford it, so 250K for six months a season, um, you're looking at 1.5 million of your transfer kitty coming out. Um, and you're never going to ever commit to the number that's down here. So you can even bump this up and push this down if uh, if you have that negotiation um, ability. But if your club can afford it, bring them in with whatever they're asking for in the loan. Um, and that is all you're looking to do at that point. So you found a striker that wants away. He's got determination and he can finish. Um, and you're, um, you're paying just for the loan and not for the optional future fee. Um, so I'm not going to hit suggest terms now because I am taking my save seriously. Um, but the next part of this equation, uh, this formula for success, is that you play him in the first possible match um, and you do everything you can to land him a goal. So you put him on penalties, um, you put him in the, uh, the, you know, the prime position for 90 minutes and just hope that your attacking style of play can get him to score just once. Um, and let me tell you, if you can get that going the goals will flow. Now let me show you some evidence about how this has worked for me in the past. A couple of seasons ago, we brought in a guy called John Duran from Aston Villa using this exact method, and he did wonderfully for us. Now, this is a Colombian 24-year-old. Um, I've lost the attributes here, um, unfortunately, so I haven't got the, uh, the recent scouting history. But, uh, so looking at the schedule then, uh, and I can re recall, although I can't see the full details from these fixtures anymore because it's too far in the past, annoyingly, um, I bought this guy, John Duran, on a transfer deadline day, which would, of course, fall on the 31st of January. Um, and I believe he started in his uh, in his first game, which was away, uh, sorry, no, at home to Villarreal. Um, and he did manage to bag a goal, albeit it was in the 90th minute. That was a very uh, dramatic end to that match there. Um, but then just watch how the goals just started flowing. So he got set two goals then in the next match, which was in the Spanish Cup, um, albeit we lost. Uh, then he scored again in the next game. Uh, in the fourth game, we lost uh, horribly in the Champions League to Barcelona. Um, and then uh, then I think it started to turn around. So this is where I started to see the fruits of our labour um, coming coming through. Um, John Duran again with two more goals. Um, he didn't score in the next game or the next, uh, but then he started getting hat-tricks. <laughs> so three, games, uh, three goals in that game, three goals in that game, three goals in that game, um, and yeah, two goals, another, another two, um, you can see there's another hat trick there and a three all. Uh, the next game was a, um, a friendly, which I'm not going to count. Basically, it, but uh, that was a prolific two or three months from John Duran there, where he came in on loan. I just feel it gives them the freedom. So this this entire equation gives them such freedom to score freely and prove a point. Uh, and if you've got somebody like John Duran, again, I haven't got the uh, the stats here, um, then I implore that you take me up on this recommendation because it can really kick your side into gear in the second half of the season where everything matters um, and you can get over a mid-season slump using this formula as well. Um, so you'll bag loads of goals. This guy got, uh, let me just have a look. Duran ended up getting us 20 goals in 17 appearances uh, with two assists as well and an average rating of 7.8. Uh, not bad at all for just half a season that he played for us um, and it only cost us that 600k um, with an optional future fee of £65 million that we were never going to pay. Uh, so it's a fantastic way of bolstering your striking lineup and I recommend it thoroughly. That's it for today though guys, uh, head over to the channel for a new video every week and until next time, adios.